we're back in the attic, but that's not what this video is about. But you see, that's the bathroom vent pipe. We already talked about that. We already talked about the, um, in the attic video, we talked about the hump, uh, the improper pitch on the vent pipe, waste vent pipe over here. Uh, but see the white piping? See these white hoses in here? Okay, that's PEC's water supply line. And when it's in the attic, it's supposed to be insulated. It's supposed to be insulated. That's, that's why we started this video here. We could have started a little sooner in there also, because it was something I wanted to call your attention to and will. Call your attention to. Let's put my toys up. We're getting there. This is the build up. This is the credits. When we get to the good part of the movie. This is the mechanical closet in the hallway. And the water heater is too close to the return air for the furnace. So any carbon monoxide that spills out of here can roll right back up in there and get broadcast to the house. This flue pipe, and I still got to research on the roof, but this flue pipe. Okay, um, it's not properly supported in the attic. These water supply lines, you're supposed to have a discussion plate there. And these water supply lines should have been insulated. This red PEX was insulated in the attic, if I remember correctly. The white pipes that we started this video with are not. So, these pipes should be insulated. This is your temperature pressure relief valve drain. And it's supposed to be insulated as well. And it's not supposed to have negative pitch. See the way it's going up over here? And a lot of home inspectors say that you can't or shouldn't have flexible temperature pressure relief valve drain lines. And there isn't a code about that, to be honest. There isn't. But what there is a code about is threaded ends. Threaded ends. And to install one of these, it's improper to install one of these because they have threaded in. It ends on your temperature pressure relief valve. So that's what we have here. And this vent pipe is not properly again. We do not have a care and use manual. Uh, this is a Bradford White. It's 50 gallons. It's 50 gallons and the serial number. The serial number is K. So we're going to look up the age on that. It doesn't look like it's very old, but sometimes they don't. And they are. So um, the age is out on that. Um, the gas line coming to it does have a sediment trap, unlike the furnace. Unlike the furnace, we have automatic ignition, electronic ignition. So, where does this temperature pressure relief valve drain go to? We don't know. I didn't see it outside, and I'm not through looking outside. I, so, you know, I, I might find it, but at the time this video was recorded, we do not know where the temperature pressure relief valve drain line goes to. We do know that the safety pan drain line improperly co-mingles with the evaporator coil primary drain line. So we don't have a carrying use manual. The pan is not properly uh, draining. We do not know where the TMP drains to. We got the wrong kind of material for the TMP drain. The TMP drain valve is not insulated and the water supply lines are not insulated. The Man, it must have been here for a little while. Oh, wait a minute. 14. 2014. About seven years old, it's about middle age, so they last about 10. They last about 10. I want to get a better date on this. Um, flu is not uh, properly supported in the attic, we do not have care and use manual. That's it. Oh, and then of course, this isn't another video, but our we're not supposed to have screens, it's supposed to be unobstructed, fresh air vents. I hear people. I just got a guilty conscience. So.